but know that two guys like us who's been in this game for about 20 years can walk by this and know exactly what it's made of. Good job, man. Yeah. We'll definitely try yeah. to make a farm truck for you guys. Tell me if the tire's filled. Alright guys, so now that the engine is on and it moves, uh, we'll do the maintenance as we have to do. But now, the fun part. We start on the body. So, we got uh, this vending machine. Uh, my dad had a vending company and these are one of his scrap machines. So, we're going to use this, cut it up and see how much of the body we can make with this. All right, so I uh, stripped most of the uh, vending machine, as you see here. And uh, right now I marked out a uh, pretty much the first piece that's gonna be the side of the bed, because we figured we'll work on the bed first. All right guys, so we got the fenders cut out. It, well, the back of the bed cut out and the tailgate cut out. Kind of got marks and stuff, so now we're going to try to bend it. So, yeah, let's see how well this goes. Uh, we got the uh, uh, first body line part marked off. Uh, on farm trucks, there's like kind of a, it kind of, there's a body line. So that's what we're working on now. Uh, I do not have a break. So what we're going to try to do is I got a piece of bed frame here and I clamped it down between the sheet metal. And what we're thinking is, is we'll bend it this way and then we'll have to bend it again to kind of make it more straight. All right guys, so uh, I'm gonna do a little update. I wanna show you that I did end up getting a thicker bar for the front steering. Uh, we did uh, find some new uh, front tires that we're gonna go with. And then we started on the bed. And as you saw, uh, we creased right here. Uh, it's hard to see the lines and stuff because it's all black. And then we, uh, I took an angle grinder and grinded down here uh, to make it more round and give it that uh, so it could have that body line. I ended up doing conduit across this for more support and then we have this for the support and then uh, we're going to have to come up with some brackets because as you see there's some distance between here so we'll get some brackets. Fending machine metal. Uh, is actually kind of kind of good so uh, hopefully I could talk into my talk to my dad about uh, using some more of his old machines but so far this is what we got so right now uh, I'm measuring out and cutting more pieces for the uh, farm truck and right now we're going to be starting on the cab so uh, I'm gonna get cutting all right guys, so it started to rain uh, and we got some of the pieces uh, made, like this one's pretty much made. We still got to cut and angle this side. We're gonna have to add a piece. So uh, I figured uh, I could show you where we're at. So this is gonna hold up to there and this is gonna be the front of the cab. All right guys, uh, before I continue with more of the body, 
Uh, there's some things I did that I want to test out. Uh, so I'll come show you. So one of the things I did was, as I showed previously, is I put a thicker bar for the steering. But I also notched out the frame a bit so we could get more turning angle before it would stop here. And uh, I notched it out so we could have a uh, better angle. So I did that and I put tires on with bearings. So I'm going to test that out too and see if the brakes are good. And I know they're good, but I want to just go over everything again before we continue because I think it'd be easier to do changes as the uh, body is not on it. Because once the body's on, you got to take the body off, do changes. So I figured it'd just be easier to do any changes like this before we continue with the body. All right, guys, so there was the test ride before we continue with the body. Um, I ended up getting it up to 41 miles per hour, and I there's a lot more. It's just I'm doing a lot, like I'm doing rolling burnouts, and I just don't have enough flat road. So the steering is a lot better. Uh, the brakes are good. Everything worked good. Everything is tight every like nothing loosened so now we can continue with putting the body together so now we got to work on the door and the uh fender front fender and like the hood stuff so i got another machine here and we realized that the body lines and like the shape of the truck from bed to the front are kind of similar so we're pretty much going to make the bed again but it'd be the front end and the door. So uh, I'll cut these pieces out and then I'll get to you guys once we're ready to shape and put it on the uh, body. As you see, we're starting to make some progress on the farm truck. So what I did was I took it all off the frame because it was just kind of mocked up and we set it down and we're starting to weld things together and shape things. And what we did was this piece that was all one piece we ended up cutting it and bending right here to give it more body lines and then we also took this much out of it to shrink it down a bit and uh, so now uh, I'm welding this all up I got it tacked on and welded up in some spots I recently ran out of wire welding wire so I just got some so now we can continue and then we're working on the front fenders uh, this one I got kind of shaped and cut some stuff away. The other one, I just cut the fender or the uh, wheel well. So this is how it looked before. And then once we do some shaping and stuff, this is how it'll turn out to be. And this, I know right now we're kind of mimicking the bed with it, but this is gonna be both. So it's gonna be both the door and the front fender. It's gonna be all one piece. So that's why it doesn't. That's why it doesn't look right right now. 
is because we still got to separate to where the door and the front fender will be. So now I'm going to finish welding this and maybe weld on uh, one fender and start bending the other. So I'm going to get to that. I uh, welded on the front fenders and doors and uh, I realized that I'm trying to focus in on some details that aren't important right yet. Like, I think I need to focus more on the body, getting the body done, then focus on the details. So with that being said, uh, I'm starting to work on the A-pillars and I got these bed frames here. I cut them and then I held them up and cut a little line here. So now they're going to be the A-pillars and then I got the this side done. So I got to now weld these on and then uh, move on from there. All right guys, so I got the uh, window seal done, the framing, and I did add a slight curve uh, to make it look more realistic. I did add a cowl. I still got to do some work to that too, but we just want to get everything finished. So we're now working on the hood and I got it marked here and we're going to cut here up to this line and farm truck the hood curves over so we're going to try to curve this and curve the front to kind of have what farm truck does so i'm going to cut these and then see if we could bend them so uh did some more work to the go-kart and i want to and we we're uh getting ready to mount it to the frame so i want to get you guys and show you what our plans are so what i'm doing is as you see i got a piece of bed frame that's running along the frame. And then on the bed, I have these tabs, which are also bed frames, welded from the bed to the, to be mounted to the frame. I have that for back here, and I have the same for up here. The tabs, bed frame, tabs. And then we did a little bit of work on the hood. Uh, it's not, on yet but this is the idea for that and then here's how it sits on the frame so my plan is is for back here i'm going to weld this piece of frame onto this piece of frame and then i'm going to nut and bolt it down here and then on the front i'm going to do opposite and i'm going to weld it here and then bolt it on the frame because um, the up front, one of these aren't lined up how this one is. It's kind of more towards the edge. So we're gonna just change that up. Then I'm gonna take it for a test drive. All right guys, so uh, got a lot of the body done. Uh, I tacked on the hood and I did some stuff to it. So I wanna grab you guys and get you in a little closer. So as you see here, I have the hood kind of propped up. I have angle iron here to get it to have this angle. Uh, we actually might redo the hood because it is a little too wide. We have to uh, shorten it to where it sits kind of halfway on here. And uh, then for the mounts, I welded these bed frames at the ends and then I bolted this bed frame across the frame so it's like that and we still got to figure out the grill and stuff like that but i figure that's more the detailing part the majority of it is the body uh on this part here for where the roof would be that part is like this part so that's what that is and i cut out the top to kind of sit in now i think it's ready for a test drive so i'm going to take it up and down the street for uh for you guys and we're going to see how much it wobbles if it does so uh, i'm going to put my helmet on and then go for a little little test drive
Oh, this is a full-blown race car, bro. All right, guys, so there was the test drive with the body on. Uh, I do have to weld the hood back on. Well, I tacked it on because we are planning on changing it up a bit. So luckily, the, the tacks broke, so now I don't have to do any cutting. Um, I do have to replace the belt. This one did uh, shred. So I do have a couple of belts, and so I'll just replace that. Uh, but so far, everything is going good. Uh, it is a little wobbly up front, but we think that's because there's nothing really supporting it up here, like as the bed is. So now it's just time to do some painting and final details. So hopefully next video, it is 100% complete. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed your cruise down the Lashment Road. Hey guys, thanks for cruising down to Lashman Road. Here we go! Oh, here we go. <laughs>